Conduct of vessels in restrictive visibility. Rule 19. Conduct of vessels in restrictive visibility. This rule applies to vessels not in sight of one another when navigating in or near an area of restrictive visibility. <clears throat> Every vessel shall proceed at a safe speed adapted to the prevailing circumstances and conditions of restrictive visibility. A power-driven vessel shall have her engines ready for immediate maneuver. Every vessel shall have due regard to the prevailing circumstances and conditions of restrictive visibility when complying with rules 4 through 10. A vessel which detects by radar alone the presence of another vessel shall determine if a close quarter situation is developing and or risk of collision exists. If so, she shall take avoiding action in ample time, provided that when such action consists of an alteration of course, so far as possible the following shall be avoided. An alteration of course to port for a vessel forward of the beam other than for a vessel being overtaken. An alteration of course toward a vessel abeam or abaft the beam. Except where it has been determined that risk of collision does not exist, every vessel which hears apparently forward of her beam the fog signal of another vessel, or which cannot avoid a close quarters situation with another vessel forward of her beam, shall reduce her speed to the minimum at which she can be kept on course. She shall, if necessary, take all her way off and in any event, navigate with extreme caution until danger of collision is over. So mostly what, you'll, what you need to take from this rule is if you hear a fog signal forward of your beam and you're going forward, that means risk of collision exists. You need to slow to bear steerage. Bear steerage is the minimum at which you can be kept. You can control your vessel, right? If you slow down to zero, you're just drifting. You have no control. You need to be going two knots, three knots in some cases to actually steer and control your vessel. So slow to bear steerage. But it says in cases where risk of collision does not exist. So imagine you're in the fog, you're going like three or four in the fog, nice and slow. You got your radar on and you hear a fog signal of two prolonged blasts behind you. That says power driven vessel not moving. Two prolonged, and we'll get to this. Two prolonged blasts is a power driven vessel underway, not making way. So that means they're adrift, they're behind you. If you're going forward, there's no risk of collision. But you're in the fog and you hear a power driven vessel, and it says one prolonged blast, and it's a forward of your beam. And that means that's a power driven vessel moving. One prolonged blast is a power driven vessel underway making way. And so now there's risk of collision because you don't see them. They're forward of your beam. You're going forward. So they're out in front of you somewhere. You need to slow to bear steerage. Or if you determine that um, a close quarter situation cannot be avoided, you see something on your radar and they're coming right at you and you're pretty close. Now it can't be avoided. Slow to bear steerage, right? And then it, it does the if you don't turn to port for a vessel on your own port side, that's a beam or a bath to beam. It says that too. Really, the main thing to take with this, to take away from this, is just navigate with extreme caution and restrictive visibility. And if you determine that risk of collision exists, slow to bear steerage. And that pretty much sums up rule 19.